Hi everybody. Okay, it's nighttime and I'm a little bit disappointed because um, I did a video this morning of my Twilight album and sh I thought it was under 10 minutes and I I tried to upload it and then it and then everybody was like watching it and they're like, why is it only 40 seconds? And I was like, but I, I waited like an hour and a half for it to like upload so I didn't know why. And then I tried just to get out and it didn't work. And then when I checked my um, file, I guess it was like um, like 11 minutes and something, so that was way over, so definitely won't do that again. Okay, everybody, so here is my unveiling of my Twilight mini album. This is the tag that Allie um, made for me for Twilight because she knows that I'm in love with it and I was doing the project. I was keeping it filled in on everything, and I told her my colors were red, white, and black, and I just love this. And that she knows that I am Team Edward. So, um, just a little warning that there might be a lot of Edward pictures, but because that's just who I like. And I'm making this album for a girl named Kimberly at the beach, and she asked me if I was interested in doing a uh, Twilight Swap. So, I was like, yeah, sure. And this is my first time making a mini album, so I definitely, like, was, like, a little bit of a challenge for me, but it was something I'm passionate about. Okay, I'm going to be talking super, super, super fast because, um... I have to get this through, and I don't want to get, do two parts because that would suck a lot. Okay, guys, da da. Let me back up. This is my Twilight mini album, and as you can see, it's it's not that mini. It's kind of big, so um, I definitely want made one of those bulky albums, as you guys like to say. Okay, so here is um, some Halloween paper that I ordered. It had this spooky tree on it. Cut it all out with my exacto knife. And it was cream color on one side and black on the other. But I liked this side and I inked it up with black soot. And then I put um, Distress Rock Candy Stickles on it. And this was the back side of the paper, it was polka dot. And I put the Distress Stickles all the way around it. And then I, I wrote this by hand with pencil and I did my gel pen over top. I, cobbled, I just copied the DVD. And I have a, a little... Um, curly charm hanger here and I have this cross and I have a heart jewel here I just thought they really go you know for like love and then like kind of like um, faith and you know in the second movie in the new moon it's kind of very you know like that style I just I wanted to kind of incorporate it I just thought it went so um, you know, no offense to anyone who's religious or something and doesn't think vampires should have crosses or like, I don't want to kill Edward or anything, but <laughs> I just thought it, it was appropriate. But anyways, I have some lace and some tulle and I have this fibers on here. Let's open it up. Ta -da! On this side I have my gunmetal stickles and I have this black and white picture. It's not the clearest, but it's the only black and white picture that I had. And I really liked this image, and I wanted it to go on the front of my cover. I painted this frame from Allie with my black acrylic paint, and I covered it with pewter um, Distress Crackle paint. I had this roll thing that um, Jean sent me in a package. I have this die cut lantern. I really like that. And then I used the negative from this to, and my black soot to make that image on the back of my paper. And this is like embossed red paper here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next page here. This is one of my lollies with some sequins and some button here. And I have a key and a keyhole in the shape of a heart with some ribbon tied on it. These are both done with the pewter um, crackle paint as well. Uh, I use my black lace and I just, you know, put on both sides to make pockets. This picture is not from the movie, but I just really love this picture. And doesn't the colors just go with it? Totally. I left it blank. And I put in some tags here. Just put a little bit of lace on the top there. Okay, guys, this is definitely going to be two part because I can't fit all in. There's Edward and Bella, and I totally love this kiss. Oh, I just love this. This is an awesome picture. And this I've just put left blank as well, too. I didn't put anything on the back of that one. And I was going to put ribbon on here, but I didn't want it to interfere with um, the picture. I just really like the image. And here, too, there was, like, no space for ribbon on the top, so I just left them with nothing. Okay, and then we go over. 
and I have my Edward and Jacob Page. Dun, 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 dun. And I love how they're like facing away from each other because they don't want to like see each other. And they just, you know, they're putting up with each other for the sake of Bella. So I love it because, and then I wanted to, you know, have the same size picture of them. So I just, I was really happy when I found these. I wanted to get like a full frontal because you know that like Jacob's like, he's ripped, you know, so I just totally wanted to get one of those. But I didn't really have a good picture of Edward and I didn't think it matched. And, you know, he's kind of like paley, you know. Um, not so cool looking like he looks good, but like Jacob looks really hot So anyways, this was the you know kind of even pictures that I found and I really liked how they turned out <laughs> And on my last and I've got like um thing all of my stamped images are done in metallic stays on And in my last video, I was like I was like they're not like I hate you. They're like I'm not talking to you <laughs> Like that's where they're looking away, <laughs> but anyway, sorry guys Okay, I have my E and my J, and these are chipboard pieces that I have, and I paint them with black acrylic paint. I made homemade glimmer mist with some per Perfect Pearls pewter, and I sprayed that over top with my first time using it. And I also painted these letters. Um, they were just plain stickers, and I painted them silver attached them on top and then I glossy accent the whole thing and I just really love that glimmer or not glimmer but I love that smoothness of it okay and then this here I've made I used the um a cutout I think it's what, like a like a top note or some kind of shape I don't know I used and um this is lace and I didn't have any thick lace that matched here so I just layered it twice and you can see a little bit there, but um, I thought it looked pretty good because I wanted something kind of elegant here. And then Jacob's got like his fur here. And he's not um, this color fur, I know, but um, I just really like the fur look. And I was actually going to put this on both sides and I thought, oh, why don't I just put on Jacob's side and then I put this. And I was, I was trying to wonder which side should be white and which side should be black, but I decided I'd put Edward here and Jacob here. And then... Anyways, I've punched out here. I've distressed all of my paper with black soot. And all of the chipboard pieces, or of the chipboard pages, have been painted with my black acrylic paint at, paint as well. Okay, next page. So here we have um, Dream. That's my Dream page. I have a button, and I have some bling. Um, so let's see. You got Oh, sorry, I don't want to unveil yet. Okay, this has a little rose charm. Isn't that cute? And you pull it out and then there they are in the metal. This is like the metal page guys. And there's a swirl on the, on the other side. And you pull this out and then mwah, mwah, we're going to kiss. I love that. And there's um, I just put a little bling in the center of that there. There's a bling there. And I made all my pockets by hand. This is my first really big project guys and I think it turned out really well, but let me know. I left these blank because I thought I, I needed to have spaces, more spaces for Kimberly to put in her own stuff if she wants. I like that image there too. And that's just kind of blank. She can put some words or journaling or do what she likes on here. Um, this is the love one. So, and I've just put these stamps in the corners. Kind of look like phono quarters, don't they? So there's Velcro on the back of my ribbon here. I, I really like that idea. Instead of doing the bow, just have the Velcro with a flower in front. And these are all my flowers are handmade, guys. And I love the, I found these um, rose buttons. Aren't they just gorgeous? They're perfect pewter. And I just back up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Okay, I've got some bling on the corners. And this one here, bling on the bottom. And then there he is. He's like, ah, I'm going to bite you. <laughs> but I'm not. And she's like, please, please bite me and make me vampire forever and ever. So, if you've seen my previous videos, you know how the rest of that conversation goes. <laughs> Feel free to comment. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm gonna, I need to do that a little bit tighter. But anyways, yeah. Oh, these are yo-yo ones, so that's how they go. They're a little bit loose. And then this one you just pull out. It has some rhinestones here. And just a box to write in there. Now, um, I kind of left it a little bit free for Kimberly to add her own things there. Okay. I'm going to stop because I'm only halfway, guys.